Hey, I'm Dan. It's Tuesday. Welcome to Project Mackle. Uh, you may notice I'm not going to put in the title sequence because um, uh, Adam, you said you didn't like the song. Fine, you didn't like the song. Uh, so we'll have to find something else. Owen, you're most definitely confused as to what a logo is. A logo is not a moving image. A logo is just it's just a picture that represents our symbol or our name in some way. Uh, so the what I put together was uh, what I like to call a title sequence. Completely different to a logo. When I set the logo challenge, what I wanted was a still image to replace my blue PM letters in the title sequence. Uh, so yeah, uh, you managed to come up with quite a few misunderstandings this week. Um, the first is the logo thing, obviously, completely misunderstood the meaning of the word logo. Uh, the second is, uh, you said that I, I suggested we do videos every day. I don't know where the hell you got that from. I never said anything along those lines. Um, so I, I really can't understand. What I said was, if you miss your day or for some reason cannot make your video on your designated day, but you still feel as though you want to or you have the motivation to make a video you should make that video and post it anyway no matter if it's somebody else's day because you missed yours I didn't say jumble around however you feel like it I didn't say make a video every day I didn't say make more than one video a week I'm just saying that if you miss your day or for some reason cannot make your day but still feel as though you should make a video which you should then you should post it whenever you've made that video for example the fact that Carla has posted hers on a Tuesday. Don't know why it wasn't posted yesterday. I know you went home for the weekend, but pfft, yesterday you were at Exeter, um, I think. So there you go. Right. Um, uh, next misunderstanding is uh, the recommendations. You made a complete fucking mockery of them, to be honest, didn't you? Right? That you you took it way too far. When I said that, I said it very casually. I think I said something along the lines of. Speaking of this, uh, it'd be nice if we did this a little bit more often, make recommendations for each other. What I meant was, as things come up in our everyday life, if you read a book and you really like it, or if you watch a film and you thought it was great, then casually mention it in Project Mackerel, you know? I didn't mean search through the catalogue of your life and find things, millions of things, hundreds of things that you need to recommend for other people. I didn't mean that. That was not what I meant. And you completely ruined the whole concept of it. Nonetheless, I have a recommendation this week. Um, I was not aware that there was a comic book to go with the Heroes television series. Apparently it's been going forever, right? They decided before they'd even made the first program that they were going to have a comic book come out weekly on the internet uh, to go with the program because they had so, so many stories to tell and they wouldn't be able to fit it into the television program. Uh, this is uh, the only one that they've published. It's a collection of like series one and a few of series two's um, issues. Um, they're great. There's, there's some great stories that give you that extra bit of background detail that you just crave from some of the characters. And there are also stories from other people with uh, special powers um, who you don't really get to see a lot. Some people that are just in for one or two episodes and it gives you their, their stories a bit more. Uh, Adam, you're most probably aware of this already. But I have to say, a more important point is that it's, it's um, a comic book. It's a graphic novel or whatever you call it. Um, and I'd always been very much put off by these in the past, um, but I gave this a go and I read it and it was very engaging and I, I kind of enjoyed it. So um, Death Note, uh, you know what, I most probably will give it a go when I get around to it, when I actually remember to buy it when I'm out and about. So uh, yeah, thank you for that recommendation. I will try and get to that. Um, and Owen, your last misunderstanding. Uh, what the what the, what the, I can't, uh, what the fuck you comparing Obama being voted in with the moon landing the moon landing the, with human beings stepping on to a rock hundreds of miles away right a completely different orbital object within our universe to a man being voted in to a presidency in America what the I can't, I can't, I can't get my mind around you comparing the two. One is a, a, an achievement for the, our entire race, right? Another is, 
is a, a, a political event. What the fuck? Seriously. My God. Oh. And what's with your hands? What's this all the way through your video? Wavy hands. I'm all boggled up here. I can't. I can't I mean, I've just been swearing. My language in the last five minutes has been atrocious because you infuriate me, boy. But like Carla said, I hadn't noticed that you were swearing in your videos until you said it. And now I watch your videos back, I can see all the swearing. It's not good. Um, but I had to, on a lighter note, uh, say that your costume was brilliant. I thought it was absolutely hilarious. I couldn't stop laughing. Well done. Good job. Um, Bristol. You want me to recommend Bristol? Before I do that, please don't talk about prams on buses for over three minutes again. Wasn't impressed. Uh, yeah, Bristol. Anyway, uh, I do love it. It's great here. Uh, last time I spoke to you, you said you wanted to do Italian. I don't know if that's still the same, but there is a pretty good language department here. Um, the, the only problem is, most of the university halls are like a half an hour walk from the campus where all the lectures and stuff is. I, on the other hand, am one of the lucky few in one of the closer halls. I'm only a 10 minute walk away. It's great here. Uh, there's a really nice community feel. Uh, I get along with my flatmates. A lot of the others don't. I mean, some people don't even see their flatmates or even talk to them. But uh, we all get along here. It's like a, uh, it's a great feel in the flat. Um, yeah, and uh, the city is great. It's not too small. It's not like a village. It's not out in the country. Uh, and I didn't want to lose the city feel um, because I, I am a city boy at heart and uh, it's not as big as London obviously but it still has that kind of energetic let's get a move on kind of atmosphere which is great there are loads of clubs whereas often other universities um, there's just one or two don't get a lot of choice um, there are bars coming out of your ears there's a huge massive shopping centre every shop you could ever dream of um, everything's very accessible um, nothing that you would want that they don't have here the only thing I'm a little pissed off about is that the nearest bowling alley is about a 20 minute bus ride but I think I'll get over it uh, there's a laser quest just down the road there's three cinemas three big cinemas I mean there are hundreds of not hundreds but six independent cinemas student union is great they put on loads of events there's hundreds of societies everything you could dream of um, they've, they've got a lot of money the student union uh, really good building events are properly put on a lot of planning going into them uh, really professionally done um, yeah I can't think of anything more to say but yeah it's a great city really is. I love it. That's why I'm here. And, Ex and Exeter obviously isn't that great. Hence Carla doesn't really have anything to sell. Does she? Especially compared to Bristol. So, yeah. Come to Bristol. Forget about Exeter.